Earlier this morning, the Senate voted to advance the Ryan Murray budget agreement that passed the House last week. The legislation has been a topic of much discussion over the past several days, and there are sincere arguments on both sides. While I appreciate the challenges that House and Senate negotiators faced in crafting these budgetary guidelines, I voted against this legislation because, in my view, Congress should continue to adhere to the fiscal restraints that both parties agreed to under the Budget Control Act. I was the principal Republican negotiator of that agreement. I've been particularly invested in its success and was very proud of it. As a result of the Budget Control Act, government spending has declined for two years, two years in a row, for the first time since the Korean War. This was hard-won progress on the road to getting our nation's fiscal house in order. As I said, I fully appreciate the constraints that Chairman Ryan and uh, Chairman Murray faced in their negotiations. And there are clearly some good things to be said about their agreement. But in my view, we should not go back on the commitment we made under the BCA. Nonetheless, this has been a very important public debate.